So in your medicine interviews, you will have no idea what they're going to ask you. But one question that you know will come up for sure and need to prepare a really outstanding answer for is that of why medicine? Or if dentistry, why dentistry? It is one of those that basically you know everyone will ask you and it's up to you to come up with a really bang on answer to make sure you stand out and convert your interview into an offer. In this video, we're going to look at your insights into medicine. To prove that you want to be a doctor, you need to demonstrate that you know why you want to study medicine, the requirements of a doctor that you're letting yourself in for, and that you have the resilience to be able to stick through this challenging course and subsequent career. So when you're answering the question of why medicine, you basically need to make sure that you hit a few things in your answer. First of all, you need to be authentic and tell something that is personal to you. Also, you want to tell the story and then also avoid banal or often overused answers and really try to do something that differentiates you from the crowd. Now, when people answer why medicine questions, they are usually loosely grouped into one of three things. Firstly, the one is the love of science and the love of people, some sort of combination around that. The second is some sort of experience with personal illness, whether that was them or a family member or someone very close to them, and they spent a lot of time in the hospital around doctors and that sparked their interest. Or finally, the third one is kind of some sort of epiphany moment that people have that makes them suddenly realize that they had to be a doctor all their life and this is what all their life is about. Now, none of those by themselves are bad. The problem is that people think that that is the be all and end of all cause of why they want to be a doctor. Whereas actually what it is, is just the spark. That is just the kindling of what sets off the chain of events that have led you to where you are today, which is wanting to become a doctor. So what you need to do to make a really authentic answer is to detail that journey from that initial spark to why you're here today and want to be a doctor. Now, that will usually include three things. The first thing is that spark that we talked about, probably loosely related to one of those three broad categories that we talked about. The second is then what you did to further that spark, how you you develop that interest? Did you do some work experience? Did you read up about the career? Did you go and attend some lectures? What did you then do to fuel that desire and push your interest further to bring you to where you are today? And the final thing is to round off that answer with an explanation as to how all of these events have confirmed your desire to want to go and study medicine or dentistry. A lot of questions on the subject of medicine will kind of look at the positives and the negatives of the career. So the first thing they might ask you is reasons why you think you would become a good doctor or whether medicine is suited to you. Now, when you deliver an answer to this question, you need to get the balance right. We don't want to have you too arrogant, but equally, we don't want to have you so humble that you're not really doing yourself justice. We want a nice middle where you are confident and speaking in a positive tone, but using some evidence to back it up. So when they ask you if you have what it takes to be a doctor, some of the ways that you can answer this are, other people who have told you that you have the potential and things that they've seen in you, maybe giving quotes or examples, things from your personal life, personal achievements, some goals that you've reached, whatever it is that kind of gives you the idea that you have the skills required. Or finally, acknowledging that maybe that there is a lot to learn in medicine and you appreciate that, but you have the raw skills or the raw traits that are needed, such as desire, perseverance, resilience, that are gonna help you get through what you know is a challenging road ahead. And of course, like we said at the start, back these up with a really strong example. Another question that they might ask is just a general one as to what makes a good doctor. Now here it is asking for you to name some of the traits of a good doctor and then the pro answer is then to back it up by saying how you fit with those and give some examples. So it's really just a variation of the other question, but you just have to be very careful about which traits that you pick because you want to be smart about this and pick traits that you are then going to be able to give great examples of. Some of the traits that you might want to look at, you could divide into the academic and the non-academic side. So examples from the academic side are that we could do dedication, dedication motivation, motivation, curiosity, curiosity the ability, the ability to things pick things quickly, up quickly, hard working, hard working and maybe, and maybe a, good a good teacher. teacher. And on the non-academic non side, side, you could have, you things, have like things like good coping, coping mechanisms, mechanisms resilience, resilience, teamwork, teamwork leadership, leadership, communication, communication and, empathy. and empathy. Some of the questions about medicine might be actually about the downsides. Now, it's not a perfect career, like there are no perfect jobs. 
medicine is challenging, it's long hours, it's uh, a lot of difficult emotional problems that you have to deal with when you see really harrowing cases. There are lots of downsides to medicine, but what they want to see is that you've gained the experience to understand and you're going in with your eyes open. So if you get asked a question about the downsides or about the negatives of medicine, firstly, I would recommend that you make sure that you choose a real one, something that is truly negative, not one of these, uh, I work too hard kind of answers that you get in interview, something that is truly negative about medicine as a career. Second, show what you did to realize this. So you can talk about your work experience or you can talk about how you realized it, whether it be a conversation with the doctor, whatever you did, just show that you kind of drop in there that you actually did some work experience because it's a great way to put that in, but just how you came to realize that. And then finally, how you overcame it. Maybe you did something to combat that negative thing. Maybe you realize that it's going to be a challenge ahead. And if it's say <clears throat> stress or long hours that you have some hobbies and stress releases that you make sure that you engage in regularly to maintain your mental health and longevity, whatever it is to address that situation you must mention. Like I say, there are no perfect careers and the panel interviewing you know full well the downsides to medicine themselves. So as we said, as long as you can acknowledge them and show a way around them, that is a great demonstration of insight and something that they'll want to see. You will be a lot worse off for not listing some negatives, so make sure you have a few ready. Some that you could maybe think of to use as examples are antisocial hours, and the way around that would be to be more organized. Um, it's emotionally demanding, so a good way around that would be to ensure that you have good social support networks then making mistakes and that how that can haunt people or sometimes it can lead to bad outcomes with patients. So it's developing the habit of constantly learning and improving and just making sure that you grow from your mistakes. And then finally, maybe something like constant exams and we just have to reframe that to embrace the lifelong learning and the knowledge and skills that that brings to you as a doctor. One of the final things that they will ask you is to tell them about things that you've read, maybe in an article or just seen on the news and tell them a little bit about what you understand of the world of medicine at the moment. Now this is a great opportunity to stand out and really show that you understand the career. So what they want is maybe to see that you've read something like New Scientist or the BMJ, the British Medical Journal or the British Medical Association Journal. Um, so they have a student BMJ as well that you can read or just BBC Health to keep you up to date with everything. Now, when they ask you about an article or a piece of news that you've read, whatever it is, make sure that you do the following. First say what it's about, whether it be an article, a book, just briefly describe what the context is. Then say, why did you choose it? Or why did you find it interesting? What is it about it that you decided to bring this up for? Then tell them what you've learned or what your understanding of the subject is now that you've finished that article. And then finally finish off with telling them what your opinion on the matter is and then back it up with some good facts or some justification from what you've gained from the article. They might ask you for a book, an article, or maybe something you've seen in the news. So always make sure that you're well read with a, and go in armed with at least one book one article, and then maybe a couple of news stories that are maybe current, just so that you've got something to talk about. Huge in the news at the time, it's so important that you're at least a little bit aware on that so that you can hold an intelligent conversation and have an opinion. If you want to find out more about how to stand out at interviews, I recommend that you check out this video here, which is gonna give you all of the best resources, or you can check out a YouTube playlist that I've made here, which has condensed versions of all the key subjects that come up at interview. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you over in one of those videos.